I ran the tests, but I didn't look at the results. I figured we could do that together. So, so this part you tell me? Just thought we could share finding out. But you didn't think we could share knowing that you were running the test in the first place? Because I knew you'd say no. Yeah, you're damn right. Yeah, I thought if I ran the test, if I had the results right here in my hand, that you'd want to know. Oh, because that would make me so happy. No, because it's the truth, Oliver, whatever it is. I, I knew that whatever you found out one way or the other, I'd be here to find out with you. I really wish you hadn't done this. But I did. Okay, I did. So let's just move ahead and open the envelope and find out whether or not you're the father. It's a great story how you suddenly realized that you love the baby you denied for months. I moved, but I don't believe a word of it. How are you involved in this, Rex? Oh, you let me go on thinking that I was the baby's father and it broke me and Gigi up. That's how. Yeah, well, you're not the father, so... And you are? Gigi doesn't trust you anymore, okay? She doesn't think you can take care of her niece. Skylar. <clears throat> if you care about Sierra as much as you say, you'll let her go. If, if you still care about me at all, You'll let me love and nurture her in a way that you never could. Are you trying to get kicked out of medical school again? What? The only reason we know any of this is because you overheard Stacy talking, who was a patient at the hospital. You broke Dr. Patient Confidence. I don't care. I don't care. I did what I thought was right. Kim threatened to turn you in if we said anything about it. I can live with that. That little girl deserves to know the truth, and so do you. Huh. So now you know what's best for me? Yeah, in this case, yeah, I do. And I don't care if it pisses you off. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Oliver, this is the right thing to do. And underneath all of this, you know that. I understand that marrying me will help you get custody of Stacy's baby and that you want to give little Sierra Rose every advantage. And I'm behind you 100% on that. If not, I, I wouldn't have accepted your marriage proposal. But... But baby or not, good intentions or not, you didn't think I was going to marry you without protecting my family's fortune, did you? Now, because of her memory loss, she wants to take classes here again. Yes, I read about the Buchanan's daughter's troubles in the paper. But you do know that she graduated a long time ago. And, and having her here in, in my class as a student can really disrupt my class. I, I see your point, but her family's quite prominent in Landview. And isn't Todd Manning her uncle? Yeah, but what is Mr. that? Mr. Manning just made a sizable donation to the school. It practically covers the entire arts program. Of course he did. I don't know about you, Mr. Vega, but I don't think we should deny anyone the quality education Landview High has to offer. Uh, right, but you see, you don't understand. When Jess and I were in high school... It was we... a long time ago. I'm sure you can handle whatever disruption Jessica's presence might cause. Landview High. Happy to be here, Mr. Vega. We have a history, but... It's ancient. Yeah. And I mean, we've barely seen each other in the last couple of years. So, why does it feel that no matter what we're thinking or doing or saying while we're awake, that there's something more. And sometimes I hope there is. That was a pregnancy test, and it was still wet. So that means you took it already. Yes, yes, I already took it. But it was negative. Hey, listen, I never been to med school, and I ain't no doc, but I'm not blind either. I saw that thingy. You got a bunt in the oven. Sorry, forget what I said. It was uh, grief talking. Well, we both know something about that. Yeah. And you know, we both know that running into someone else's arms to escape is a mistake. You 
helped me out so much since Jared died. He's always coming to my rescue. Well, that happens to my heart. And right now, I'd love nothing more than just to escape with you. Natalie. But it would be wrong. The timing's off. For me. For you. I'm here with Marty. Right. So what do we do? Do we do we avoid each other? Do we do we stop being friends? Stop seeing each other and just pretend like nothing ever happened between us. 